and welcome back to another video. We're actually filming in my conservatory because the light in my studio at the moment is shocking. Um, so I thought I would bring us into the stu into the conservatory. So I do apologise if there's a bit of echo. I'm hoping my mic will kind of um, stop that from happening. But we are finally reviewing and flipping through this sketchbook. It's been a long time coming. It has taken me three years to complete this sketchbook three flaming years so at the time of starting the sketchbook i filmed a lot of the pages in here or i used the artwork for a lot of products so you will see probably about a quarter of the sketchbooks very familiar i would say um and basically at the time of filming this it was a time where i was completing moleskin after moleskin but those moleskins were probably about this big this big here and so this was a mammoth task. It was a massive increase in size. It was a massive um, change as to what I was doing and what I wanted to try out. And I really thought it was something that was going to push me to do bigger pieces of artwork, to do more in my sketchbook. However, the fact that it's taken me three years to complete it and I've not completed any other sketchbooks in the same amount of time, I don't know whether it comparatively I would have completed about 10 moleskins in the same time it com I completed this sketchbook I'm not really sure so whether I created more artwork is um, kind of questionable however I do feel like this sketchbook is very good I think it's definitely a journey there's a start point where I have I have produced really polished artwork which I thought because this was big pieces of paper I was producing artwork bigger it kind of almost always turned out really polished but then as you go on in the sketchbook you can definitely see me transition to doing things a bit more loose doing things very much more sketchily and much more what I would I would put in a sketchbook and what I would see a sketchbook being is more loose more uh, just less polished basically if I'm stop waffling on about it um, and I know there are artists out there that produce artwork that's very polished in their sketchbook throughout like um, Jess Carp uh, for example produces wonderfully polished artwork no matter what she does but she is very good you know there's the odd person like that that can just whack out a piece of artwork just willy-nilly and although to them it seems really sketchily to us it seems very polished so I think there's obviously different things that can occur in a sketchbook for different people but for me this has definitely been a big journey and I hope you want to stick around and watch it and see what I have produced so let's start off with the front page. You may be familiar with this. I filmed it um, as a video and this was meant to be my intro, uh, intro page. And I created some text that says the art of Lucy Locks on there and I put it on cellophane and I was meant to copy it onto here but I chickened out because I liked the artwork too much and I didn't want to kind of mess up what I had done but I'm actually mocked this on my iPad I believe and I cre I brought assets together and then I kind of recreated it on the page in watercolors and I love it and there is actually going to be a series of products with some of this artwork printed on as well as some additional assets I'm going to paint um, so do keep your eyes peeled if you really like this and you like the rainforest kind of appearance then do keep your eyes peeled there may be some products coming for that so next we have this, and I remember this really vividly. James Bond's films always come out near my mum's birthday, and the latest one came out and we watched it, I think we must have watched it twice or maybe three times, and I loved the cars and I was really inspired, and I just received some polychromos pencils, and so I used those and just sketched out one of James Bond's cars. Um, and then again, something very familiar. This is my Chili series and I have a few products with this on as a pattern and some stickers. Um, and again, I used some watercolor as a base and then used some pencil crayon over the top. Um, and I really like this. I think it looked really, really nice. Um, I'm quite proud of this. Um, and those Neuro Spicy out there, there are products on my store that you may like, so do check them out. So moving on, I was doing a little bit of portraiture at the time. I wanted to push myself to do some more pencil sketches of people and this was one of them and I'm really proud of this. I would love to do a little series of this. I think I got the shadowing and all the contours really, really nice um, and I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I think it's very, very nice, very nice indeed. 
And then again, another familiar one is my Robin series. This is again on a wrapping paper, some cards and some other sticker products, etc. Um, really like this artwork and I'm happy that I produced it into some um, Christmas themed products. So this here, I had some off cuts of some um, acrylic paw that was stuck to my silicone mat and I whipped it off and I thought it looked like a dress so I just went with that, stuck it in and I drew this lady posing with her dress which I think turned out really really nice and a really nice little quirky way of using some um, leftover acrylic paint paw paint. This again is another familiar one. I painted this, I received some gouache for my birthday, I believe, some Winsor & Newton professional gouache, and I painted these lovely doves, um, and I created that into a Valentine's Day card. And I really like how this one turned out. It was definitely where I fell in love with gouache a little bit more, and I definitely use that more and more from this point. Then we have another pencil sketch. As you can see, I was trying to do pencil sketches on this left side so that I didn't go through the paper onto the other side. Um, and I really like this one. I think it turned out very nice. I could definitely work on doing curls um, with hair, but it's not something I do very often, so I don't get the chance to practice, but I think it would be lovely to do a little series or a sketchbook filled with just portraiture. And again, another familiar one, I did the Tits series, um, Garden Tits, and this again has been produced into some more products. We've got wrapping paper, cards, stickers, and all sorts of things. Um, and I really like this, again, watercolour with my polychromous pencils over the top. I really like that one. Then we went into a bit more pencil sketching. I did a study of a swan here on the left and then some lighthouses on the right here. I'd love to do a, a further mini series as part of my new mini series um, collection and I'd love to do it of lighthouses. So if you have a particular lighthouse you like, um, do send me where it is because I'd love to do some sketches of it. Then on the left here, this was a tour I went on with my rugby team where we went to the Isle of Man to play them. I don't think I was playing at the time, um, but I did a lovely sunrise painting to remember that. And then I painted them all warming up, which was a really nice memory to have there. And then I, I attempted to do the Funganuary series. Um, which was where you paint a fungus every day in January and I didn't have the time to partake in it every single day so I kind of did four paintings um, of the weeklies so I combined all seven of the weekly mushrooms and popped them into one painting um, so that's day one I, I they're all right but I don't think they're a patch on my mini, mini mushroom series I think they look way better but um, that's week one there then I did some ballpoint paint, ballpoint paint, <laughs> ballpoint pen um, kind of sketches and, and studies here. I didn't like the one that's under there. Um, so I, I did a test print of my oil um, pastel artwork, which again is going to be a series in the future of landscapes. Um, and I did a test print of it because I wanted to see how well it would print. And I stuck that in there. This is week two of Fun January. It's a real tongue twister. I have to really think about what I'm saying when I say that. Um, so that's week two. Then I did some more pencil sketches on the left there, nothing major. This is week three. Then some more pencil sketches. I really like how these turned out. I'd like to do more pencil sketches, I think, like this. I think it's something that I can definitely do and it's really simple and easy to do. And then this is week four, my least favourite of the four weeks. And I think I did film these as videos, but I, I I can't say I'm particularly proud of how they turned out. I think I've definitely done much, much better in my mini mushroom series since. Then I did some studies of just people's clothes. I don't know why I decided to do just half the bodies. Maybe I thought it would be easier. <laughs> Then a painting of a stone wall nearby my mum. I really tried to get the depth in here. It's a shame I didn't quite achieve as much detail in the background there, but this front um, wall here I really, really like. I like the colours, I like the shadowing, I like the depth, very nice. I think that's watercolour with pencil over the top. Then I asked Instagram for some prompts and um, I sketched them, so that's all of these here. I think that was quite a nice little sketchbook activity and I think I will definitely do that in the future. 
And then this is Monkey Mintaka here on YouTube, Instagram, all of those um, social media sites. She did a DTIY for reaching a certain number of subscribers, I believe, and it was a raven with a house on the top. I loved her artwork of this and it really inspired me. So I did my inking style of the same piece of artwork and I really love it. I'd love to make a print out of that. I think it's very, very nice. Then I was asked to do a really small sketch of a friend's dog who passed away. So I did that and then created a print from it, which I think looked really, really nice. Um, and just a nice little practice of a sketching um, a dog rather than inking one. Then back onto the gouache, I did this lovely owl, which has become a card um, for Valentine's Day. But like I say, I definitely fell in love with gouache, especially these Windsor and Newton professional ones. They're very, very nice. Then I saw a tutorial on how to use a pencil, the side of a pencil to create the bamboo. So I just thought I'd have a go in my sketchbook and I really like it. It's nothing that I'd ever use in the future, but it was a really nice little activity. I suggest seeing things on TikTok or Instagram, things like that. There's quite a lot of, you know, quick little sketching hacks and things that are really fun to just do in your sketchbook. It doesn't mean you have to use them for the rest of your artwork, but really nice to just try out. Then we went on a little trip to RHS Harlow Car, which is our RHS gardens close by to where we live. And we went quite close to closing. I can't remember why, but we sat, it was a little bit breezy. I did this painting. I think I did it as a video. Natalie did some um, videography for me. And um, we just sat and painted this. It was very nice. I don't really want to linger on this page, but I did a little bit of character design from a magazine that I have, um, and it was okay. It's not my forte. I definitely need a lot more practice, but I thought I would practice a little bit in here, and then I hated it so much that I just moved on. So we're going to move on. Um, I did some paintings at my mum in soil watercolours. So um, the art of soil on Instagram, she creates watercolours from natural pigments that she finds out and about. Um, or imports natural pigments but they're all natural there's nothing synthetic in them and I purchased a little dot card from her and I created this painting at my mum's um, but I actually think this will make a really nice Father's Day card so let me know what you think I really like I really like this then I started, because I didn't want to damage the artwork on the other side, I started sticking things more and more in here. So you will see a lot of artwork from other things. So this is a scroller box artwork that I did and I just stuck it in there. We've got the start of some sketches of some herons. And again, I did a really ugly piece of artwork on the other side that went through and that was my worry for some of my nicer pieces of artwork. Um, not much to say about this. It was a, uh, it was a test and I didn't like it. We're going to move on. <laughs> Um, so as you can see now, we're going very much more loose, much less polished, much nicer and more relaxed artwork in this sketchbook. And this was actually a stay at a friend's wedding. We stayed in a shepherd's hut at their outdoor wedding and it was lovely and it was in this really secluded little field. So we stayed in the shepherd's hut, it was really lovely. I was, I was watching a lot of Monkey Mintaka at the time and took a lot of inspiration and decided to have a go at some of her kind of style where there's just rough paint in the background and then whack on a load of colour and stuff. And I quite like it. I think it's really loose and very nice and a bit different for me um, and something that I definitely think I will attempt more in the future. Then, Mabel's having a big old drink. <laughs> this is the um, bath side of filming in the conservatory. I do hope it's still not echoing as well. Um, so this is a Windsor & Newton pigment art and actually I'm about to film another video of me using Windsor & Newton pigment pa pa paint pens because I really like them. I think it's a really nice loose way of working. Um, so do keep an eye out for that video. It'll probably come out after this one. Um, but that was a piece of artwork that I did for a video, I believe. Then again, using the same pens i think it was the queen's coronation at the time so i did a um, little homage to her um which was obviously shortly before she passed so it was a nice little remembrance thing to have it in my sketchbook this was again another piece of artwork for a scroller box um, that i just stuck in there i think it's of some cosmos um seeds no not cosmos what is it Honesty, honesty seeds. There we go. They're called honesty seeds because you can see the seeds through the pods. Anyway, moving on. Um, this is actually the start of when I first decided to do a mini. Oh, God. 
Yeah, so this is the start of the mini series. I had the idea to do cats and dogs and it just kind of lingered there and it was way before I started the mini mushroom series, I think. So um, it was definitely on the cards to do mini series in the future. And so I started it, didn't film any of this. And then I stopped because I was like, I really need to film this. I really need to get it in as a series and get it done. Um, so that was the beginnings of that. It's quite interesting to see. Oh, then we have a blank page, but as you can see, it's transferring from the next page, so I didn't do anything on there. This is a little study, again, I did in, I think it was paint, and then I used, I think this is when I received my Caran d'Ache Neo Colours, and I wanted to start trying them out, and I did this little, again, lighthouse, I'm obsessed, clearly, um, on top of this cliff face, which I think turned out really, really nice, I like the style of that. Then we have a little, this is actually a really old painting, I think I did this back in 20... 2010s at some point um, but I stuck that in there and then I clearly wanted to do a little bit of a um, Caran d'Ache Neo Colour series on some flowers which clearly didn't move very far. <laughs> this is a piece I did for a scroller box in some alcohol ink markers um, which I quite like and then this is another recognisable piece that I did um, of a turtle and this became a card as well. Um, I don't think it came anything else, just a, just a greetings card I did it for. So this was actually a lino cut I did. I wanted to try out something a bit more detailed with my lino cuts because I always did kind of um, Christmas cards with them that were very simple. Um, and so I did this cow which I really really like. I'd love to produce some cards of this and, and sell them. Um, so let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Then again, another polished piece that is very recognisable. This was my, I was doing a lot of stuff on the run up to Mother's Day and Easter. I think it must have been in 2022 or 2023. Um, and this was my kind of mother daughter giraffe painting that I did, which I love. This took me bloody ages to get all the shadowing right. I did so many layers. I'm surprised I didn't muddy it up in the end, but I think it turned out very nice. Then this is our darling um, Candy, our family dog. She passed away, so when I received some pencils in a scroller box, I did an homage to her because she was such a lovely, kind, little, sweet girl. And now we have our own little rascal that you can hear running about and causing a lot more noise than I'd really like in the background of this video. So I really hope you can hear a lot of it. I will try and separate it out and dumb that down if I can. Um, but yeah, this was this was Candy, and I loved this piece. I think it got featured as part of scroller box. Um, monthly zine so I was quite pleased with that one. Again an, another part of my mother daughter series that I was doing at the time and this was the penguin and their baby um, and it, yeah this got turned into a card as well um, a lot of paintings just for cards that I did at this point in time. Uh, nothing on that page. Then we have again another mother daughter. This was the two elephants that I produced again for a card, a Mother's Day card. Um, these are all available on the website if you want to see them. Uh, this was another scroll box I did recently actually. I think I took a lot of them and went back and stuck them in, um, but just a little um, mandala there. Then again, some more polished artwork. These were the chicks for the Mother Daughter series as well. Um, I slashed the Easter series. I think I moved on to doing Easter paintings here. Um, so I did a load of chicks, quite large, so that I can you know, manipulate the art however I need to. But this was quite fun to do and a quite a fun challenge to kind of get the shadowing done without darkening or muddying the chicks fur too much. Then another scroller box. Uh, this was done with pastel, so I had to really spray this, and luckily I think it's managed not to go on to the next page. Um, but this was just an owl I did in some pastel pencils. Then we took my girlfriend's nieces to the zoo when they came to visit, so I got a load of reference photos and just decided to do a couple of rough sketches of them, um, which was quite nice. This was for my Chinese New Year this year, so again, we're going back, we've kind of brought some newer artwork into the older artwork areas, but this was my original here, and then this was the, no, this was my original here, this was the print I did of it, I kind of made it a lot more ready, um, which I quite liked, I did that over on Instagram, I believe. Then we have the polished artwork for the chicken artwork I did for the greetings card, and I was going to do two more chicks, but I just ran out of steam with that, and I didn't really want to paint any more chicks, um, but I really like that artwork. 
again watercolor i think this is just watercolor i went into trying not to use the pencil over the top um but i like both styles really i've got a real mix of styles going on nothing on that page then we moved on to the easter bunnies again i think this was watercolor with some pencil over the top because i think i wanted to get the fur detail with the pencil but this is also a greetings card for easter but also for a mother daughter card i think if you wanted it just let me know if there's any cards that you want me to write certain things on just let me know and i'll happily try and change that up for you where i can then this is a piece of artwork from 2017 that i kind of stuck in here i had it and i Kind of thought it fit the vibe of this um, thing it was actually in a homemade sketchbook that i made but i never used it anymore so i tore it out and popped it in here this was going to be another easter painting but again i ran out of steam so i just left it as a sketch this was another scroller box i think it was some gold paint and some graphite um so i just did these hands i can't remember what the the theme was for that then we went to an, um, an RSPB nature reserve and I took a load of photos. I think I just got my new camera at this point. Um, and I was taking a lot of reference photos and I just did some quick sketches and plein air sketches whilst we were there on the visit itself. This was a scroller box piece I did a long time ago um, where I did these mushrooms, but then I tried to attempt to do this as a screen print as part of my mushroom series um, on some tote bags. Um, but unfortunately the screen was too fine of a mesh and I just could not get the screen print to come out really equally and evenly but I will be doing this as a DTF transfer in the future so do keep that in mind if you would like that. Then I just did some little insect um, sketches here, nothing too major. Then we moved on to attempting some watercolour and some um, Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s. I just did a lot of rough, again, very inspired by Monkey Mintaka, just colourful, tried to be really rough with it. Um, just tried to get the shapes and the colours and the shadows in there where I could. And likewise with this, I love the perspective of this. I'd like to do more paintings like this, polished paintings, where there's a lot of perspective in the artwork. I think it would turn out really, really nice with that. Then we went camping up at the Cairngorms, um, and which we can't do this year, which I'm quite sad about, because um, we've got other things planned, but we did some sketching by the beach. There's a lovely lock there with a big beach, and we love to sketch there. So I did a couple of sketches there, um, just, to, just to get kind of a feel of the place. They're not great. I'm not very good at doing like open water and, and mountains and stuff, so I'd like to polish that and do a bit more to that maybe in the future. Nothing on that one. This is after Christmas last year, I believe. Um, I received more Karen Dash Neo Colours. I received some pastels. I received some Derwent Intense blocks. Quite a lot of art supplies I received this year for Christmas. And I kind of wanted to throw them all in one. And I drew Mabel when she was a puppy and she was mental running through the mud. And mud was flying everywhere. So it was kind of my aura painting of her um, on this page. I really like that one. Then I actually did a swatch of all of those new supplies, something I didn't usually do in this type of sketchbook. Maybe something I'll incorporate in the future because I quite like it. However, I do really enjoy having um, swatches on paper that I can kind of look at outside of a sketchbook so I don't have to keep getting all my different sketchbooks out. But it was interesting to do in here. Then this was another scroller box. I think it was like dark and light or fire and ice or something, the, the theme, but it was with some um, Viviva watercolours but they were all metallic so it was really interesting so I did, actually did these um, I think they're some sort of blackbird I think um, but there's a really lovely sheen on there you can't really see it on camera but there's a lovely uh, green and blues and purples all in this black looking um, feather work there then along the same vein, which is why I think I stuck that in there, we have these magpies. Um, they might be magpies, but I just, much darker ones, I can't remember. Um, but the, I did these magpies here, and again, this was in all the supplies I received for Christmas, which was some oil pastels. Ready, shush now. Oil pastels, my um, Derwent ink tents blocks, etc. And I just did a whole piece of artwork. I like mashing loads of supplies together. I think it's really interesting to try, but I really like that piece of artwork. Then this is a print of an inking that I did a while ago, which I'm actually producing a much larger piece based on this, not the same subject. Hey, stop now, stop. 
not the same subject but very similar but I really like the print that I've produced and eventually I'd like to produce more prints of these um, to sell so keep an eye out for that. Then I went on a little coffee date in Starbucks in January, so this is coming into 2024 now and I think I filmed a little coffee date draw with me video um, where this artwork features in that. Um, I'm going to move past that <laughs> and this. I'm just, I, I was toying around with doing a children's book but I, doing cartoony artwork is just not my style so I kind of left that off for now. Um, this is a piece of artwork I did for a scroller box. Um, I actually did it in a concertina sketchbook and then I took it out and mashed it together on Photoshop and produced a print from it, which again will be a series in the future. I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas. So if you're excited by anything I've been talking about, please consider subscribing if you're not yet subscribed. I'd really appreciate that and I'd love all the support I can get. It doesn't have to be monetary, it just means a like, a comment, a share, you know, all of that good stuff. I really do appreciate it, it means the world to me. I don't think you understand how much it means to me um but yeah so i really like this artwork and i really like this print so i stuck it in there just to remind me about it this is a mixture of lino cut and inking that i did of some paw prints it was meant to be in addition to my cats and dogs series i was going to add paw prints in between everything but then i didn't really like the way it looked so i kind of left it at that but that was what that was intended for then this was another scrawler challenge i believe where it was one continuous line uh, with some crayons that i did um, which I, I like it it's not my favorite though but i just stuck that in and then i've been watching a streamer on twitch called degradation i really like him um and i just i was watching him and just decided to do like a really abstract version of him here which i quite like um, then we just did some flowers sketches, some bird sketches, um, all in my neo colours just to test them out a little bit more. They're very rough and ready, these, these two pages. And then we have the final page, which you will have recently seen me paint. Again, really rough and ready. I feel like you can definitely see the transformation between the really polished piece of artwork at the start to this really rough piece of artwork at the end. Um, and I just think it's a really nice little journey to have gone through and I hope you've really enjoyed watching this flip through and seeing my artwork and how it's progressed and kind of changed throughout the, the three years that it took me to complete the sketchbook. Now, we're on to bigger, well not bigger, we won't go bigger, we've got another A4 sketchbook, it's an Etcher sketchbook that I'd really like to start but we also have some A5s and some more A6s. So we have a mixture of sketchbooks that we can um, play around with and do some more sketchbook filling hopefully and hopefully there won't be three years between sketchbook tours and I hope you've enjoyed this one. So thank you very very much for watching, I will see you very shortly for a Winsor & Newton video so do stick around for that.